shit freezes up on you, you got to fucking reset it. I know you play oh, online glitching. Game. Yeah, glitching. You play on when you glitch the game. You glitch it. You just start doing a. You start. Have you, you read know, about glitches in real life? Yeah, yeah, I heard about glitches. Birds glitching because you know birds glitching. They fly and then they stop, and then they reappear higher than what they're supposed to be, or something's there and you look what do you, back and what do you call that? It might be, and that's why they said something would would, would make what would, would what would stop that. You glitching right now? Yeah. We'll, shut the fuck up. <laughs> we we'll stop that. We we'll, we we'll stop that with AI. Will be uh, you? They would uh, uh, AI would be <laughs> create. <laughs>
I love, I love making a, a piece TV uh, version. I love uh, just being creative. Like I noticed that. Like I thought that. I just mm-hmm. didn't want to do. It. I just don't want to do it in the realm that it's being done. Like the way that. The way <laughs> the way that <laughs> music is, ah. and the way that music is so disposable and so freely given away, that part turns me completely off. Like, and it started with people choosing beats from YouTube and kids being able to make it. The way the ease of use and equipment has to me ruined um the creativity. So right that go. So, well, I'm, so. I'm not done. Okay. I like I when the attention. That. You know, I like when the attention is on me. So, freak ball. To me, where I where I come from, I like to take the keyboard out, think of melodies, think of the way the drum pattern should go. Try something different. Try something new. But the way that, and I I get it. People say no. There's space for that. Still, there's space for that. And I'm like, yes. But when it comes to now trying to get your beats to people even people that are just local or people that are you know like underground or or if you want to go higher than that when it comes to doing that you have to compete and when it's time to compete the ones that have that same old drum pattern that same old sound that same old you know just that same droning sound they win and then you start to you know what i mean and then you just make beats for yourself at that point so it's it's more to it but i'll leave it there so that's what leads us back to this comment right here. Kev don't care, y'all. I don't care because I've been got out of this shit and I understand what he's going through. You you everybody's oh, everybody use the same drill pattern, everybody use the same fucking down south pattern. Everybody <laughs> it's is listening to music on the radio is like one continuous song going over and over and you over. Still listen to radio? No, I do not. That's when you're supposed to come and change the game, Dre. All right, fuck changing the let game. You. Now let's let's get back to AI about to change the game. Yeah, AI changed the game. So recently, now we know that Drake and all of them are in this in this fucking battle, this this un- ongoing battle. So Drake had released something. So I on the internet searching, I see owl hunting. I'm like, oh shit, Kendrick released something. Kev's so stupid. Dr- I know, not paying attention, <laughs> not really getting into the shit. I send it to y'all. We listen to it. Y'all niggas like yo, that's AI. And I'm like, what? And then I go no, back I, and listen. To we didn't say I that asked, we I asked, said, is yeah. it real? Yeah, yeah. I said it sounded like a deep fake, but yeah. I didn't know. And, no. and, and then when I went back Roll and listened hole. to it, when I went back and listened to it, I'm like, yo, this is some old fucking AI bullshit that snatched Kendrick's voice with AI can do. And even AI can even write the lyrics and shit. So I'm listening to this shit like, yo, this doesn't even sound like. Don't it make you mad? It makes me mad because it's like, yo. When Where's I the had, authentic, are you yeah, looking when for I, that authenticity? Was, yeah, when I was able to listen to rap beefs and everything, I didn't have to worry about, yo, is, am I getting faked out by AI? Is this some kid who's trying to boost his fucking page up that's using AI right now to fucking write these lyrics and and now he got a fucking million clicks and, and he's gone in an instant. It's just it, it sucks, man. And and I mean, can I offer something deeper on that? What's up? If you want to have if you want to have this AI conversation, have a conversation with me right now, okay? Now yeah. listen to what I'm about to say and let's discuss. Right? What if it's the industry testing AI? Oh, it's definitely is industry government. Let me explain. Test- let me explain. Drake, Kendrick, all these guys, okay, they know that these are the biggest rappers in the game. What's the best thing to do when you when you when you got something that you want to test? Use the best rappers in the game to okay, let's throw out some shit. Cause think about it. Just 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 go far out with me for a second. As a kid on the internet, as a kid. That has computer skill. What do I gain by not putting my name on a fucking um a, a Kendrick Drake disc other than views? I don't have my name on it, I don't have nothing. What do I have to gain? Nothing really. Just just doing something cool. But a but a label or the, the heads of the, the heads of music, if they want somebody to test it, what do they have to gain? Oh, let's see. This is this is all uh information gathering. 
let's see how many people we can get to click on this. Oh, it went crazy. Get an artist in here, right? Have them, have them, you know, help us set up this AI shit. Now we don't actually need people to make music and make money off of music. Now we can take 100% of the money from music from this fictitious ass uh, program. You don't now remember go. the one. You don't remember the one AI. It was an actual yes. AI rap. Yes. It was an AI rapper, and that's yeah. all he did. He was some guy made this. A white dude made this AI rapper. He was a rapper. He you had do lyrics. Not and know everything. if he's white. You do not know. Oh, he if was the white guy because he's he, white, bro. No, he's white because when he when he <laughs> used the, the, the AI thing said the word nigga for the first time, and they found out this nigga was fucking white, and they fucking tried to cancel. They tr pretty much canceled that fucking AI rapper. So yeah, I did figure out he was white, <laughs> motherfucker. Yeah, I did my research into shit. No, you, I was actually, no, you I, fucking didn't. All right, go ahead. Look up and see the AI. He was fucking white. They, they was like people. It was a whole uproar on the fucking internet that the, the fucking bot used said the word nigga. And they said, should this thing be allowed to say the word nigga, even though it was AI and somebody's fucking writing the program for it is white? It was a whole fucking big thing about the shit. Go fucking look it up, man. So. Uh, <laughs> I, listen, maybe that is the way the fucking future that you know that they get rid of artists. They're trying to do it, they're doing it right now. They're testing this AI saying, shit maybe. out, and they're they it's not maybe because they're testing this AI shit out in movies right now. Where I think what is it, Bruce Willis, when, when he got diagnosed with his disease, he was in the process of making another movie, and I think they used was able to use his face and his voice pattern to complete the rest of the movie. If I'm not mistaken, didn't they use AI back when uh, what's his face died in in uh, Fast and the Furious for the end scene? No, they yeah. use his brother, and then they um, and then they use uh, whatever technology to like digitalize his, his face yeah, to make it seem like it was AI, yeah. right? That shit yeah. made me cry. I ain't gonna <laughs> lie. Seeing him in the car, I ain't gonna lie. Maybe you know, what I mean, I had the, had a little tear running down a little bit. You know, what I'm saying oh, when I saw gosh. him in the car. Nah, that shit was sad because you know he did. Yeah, yeah, it was. I sad. mean, he was Paul in some Walker. good movies, but yeah, whatever. Let's go. Paul Walker. Yeah, Paul. Yeah. Nah, it did. I cried. It was an AI tear though, but I cried. Look, yeah. look how cat don't pay attention. I'm, yeah. I'm yeah. Yeah. The rapper was white. Whatever, motherfucker. Shut the fuck up. But a lot of celebrities. Are still, listen, you fucking dickheads. Let's see how it's done laughing and jerking each other off. <laughs> no, because you're going to... A lot of celebrities are fucking... Done. All right, but listen, a lot of celebrities... As soon as we just... get done, you're going to put yourself in an AI bathing suit. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm not going to do that dumb, weird shit. Um, but a lot of celebrities are selling their rights and shit for fucking the people to use their 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 face and AI to make movies. Hell, Indiana... Indiana New, new Indiana oh. Jones, he goes back and fucking... They get like a younger Tom. Uh, uh, yeah, I knew it, first of all, that was a good movie, but they oh, definitely well, Tom Ford. Yeah, you almost said <laughs> yeah. Tom Ford. That's <laughs> how they like Harrison Ford, but they went back using AI to use him at a younger age, yes. and as the age he is That's at now. Yeah, it, it's, yeah, it's so like it's crazy. Like that was this fire, whole, I'm not gonna lie. We're yeah, fucked. that was fire. Hey, AI is crazy. Like people, like right now, they're killing these niggas. Is killing me backstage, off stage about how much my family is using AI to me. Look, they should never gave the Robinsons AI. <laughs> Look what they do with it. <laughs> put themselves, that. put themselves on the beach. Put themselves <laughs> the, what? I think one of y'all got crazy. One of, of y'all got yourself at a grocery store. Like, what the fuck uses AI for that? Like to go, to, to carry groceries beautifully. Yo, but there's a lot of people using AI. It's a couple females I seen use AI. I'm like, yo, you don't look like that. And if you did, you'll look good, but you don't look like that. But it's good to see you with the AI, which you which you could have, should have, maybe been. Probably. No, you know what I'm saying? Listen, man. you ever see some people like, mm. But you be like, mm. <laughs> you have, we all, we all have, we all have. What we we look like, like hey, that. yo, hey, yo. And would you be like, I know what the you're AI you AI like. you? <laughs> the AI you? <laughs> yeah. It's all right. Maybe no I get me some VR. Maybe I put my VR gear on real quick and <laughs> go in this AI room. Is that considered cheating? <laughs> no. And that's, look, it's going to be a blurred line. 
I'm gonna ask y'all a question like later on, and we're gonna talk about it. But it's gonna be a blurred oh, line. Man. It's yeah, gonna be a blurred man. line in the future because listen, you won't be able to do a lot of shit. A listen, lot of man, shit. This, this, sex hey, ain't time. I, yeah, sex. They had an episode of like that on Black Mirror, where the two guys, it was two guys, they were best friends type shit. The dude had bought them an AI video game, virtual reality video game. You know what I'm saying? And it was like a fighting game. It was fighting each other. Next thing you know, these niggas is, is fucking each other in the game. See what I'm saying? You see There's two guys, guys though, and then they yeah, and then they you. and then they went to go see if they liked guys, and they tried to kiss each other. It was like, nah, I don't like this shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? But they liked it during the video game shit. This shit was weird. Black Mirror was shit. Mm-hmm. And if you've seen who the two actors was that played it, um, you on. Anthony Mackie <laughs> was one of them, and the other one was uh. The boy from the he's a he's a villain in Aquaman or yeah Aquaman the black dude in Aquaman yeah he, he so plays man that's so yeah. that, that's that weird package I Kev sent us a weird package of some AI shit that's what this shit was about what <laughs> Kev yeah. wants us to wear some AI to get us in the video game <laughs> you're the one who's talking about you about to go <laughs> into the room to <laughs> you put on I put on your female, virtual nigga. your AI. I I mentioned females. You know, I ain't mentioned two niggas. <laughs> I'm talking about a TV show. <laughs> we don't know what you into when you go in you're that, in that room alone. Rea- you talking about making a reality. <laughs> like, I ain't talking about making anything. <laughs> don't get it confused with what you like in life. Oh no, I don't. I'm good, man. It's, Listen, that's that, that was a what, what game was that? Um, it was a it was a it was an anime that did that shit. Um, I can't think of his name. Art, Sword Art Online, where they went in their fucking thing with AI. They wore a vir- virtual helmet, and your body was immersed inside the AI. Like you can control it with your mind. You can see your body and everything like that. But oh fucking the creator of the game made it that if you took the VR gear off, you die. die. In real life, kill- that shit, yeah. real life. And if you get killed in the game, you die. That sounds in like I've movie seen. Movie I've seen. Made. I've seen an article about that. <laughs> that sounds like yeah, that, it, it was. It. It, it was a real game. Somebody yeah. trying to make an AI game like life. that, where in real life, where it's, it it was inspired off of anime. But but listen, man, like like talking about this AI right shit right now. So I had somebody I was watching a podcast and they explained to right explained to me right now. AI is in the stage of having the thought process of a mice. You know, a mouse. A mouse. It can figure out patterns like like mazes and shit, shit like that because mm-hmm. it knows there's a reward at the end of figuring the patterns out. So that's the stage of AI in right now. They said well, when AI will become scary is when AI has the mental capacity of a chimpanzee where mm-hmm. it's aware of it. When it becomes aware that you know it's alive. Yeah, let me go ahead and scare you. Yeah. Let me go ahead and scare you. Let me go ahead and scare the pants off you right now. Number yeah, one, good. number one, why do we believe after all these years of knowing that we aren't told the truth? Why do we believe that shit now? What if AI been took over, bro? What if, what if, hold on, hold on. what if AI, because now I want us to talk about it, let's have a conversation about it. What if AI already did this and they're revealing themselves <clears throat> to be in its infancy when really it's, because all, I don't have my phone, but you, all you we get our information like through like the Terminator. Let me get there. Let me get there. All we have our information through is our phones. Okay. We spent the let um the, the the United States or the world has spent the last 10 to 15 years, if not more, making us reliant on our phones. Reliant on our phones. You get every piece of information from your phone. You watch TV to be entertained, but you watch your phone to be informed. That's where we are right now. So every piece of information you get is from your phone or from something you have to watch and digest. So if AI took over 20 years ago, okay, because it was around 20 years ago and we got it till now, would you be able to say that every piece of information that you've been able to get could be false and fed to you in order for you to be brainwashed or in order for us to be brainwashed into thinking that AI is not in charge of this shit. Now we talk. Okay. Today's sponsors are brought to you by Ideas Unlimited. Do you have a birthday party coming up? Maybe a baby shower. Could be a wedding party. School's letting out. Could be a graduation party in mind. 
Ideas Unlimited has it all from custom 360 booths with backdrops to a personalized throne chair with centerpieces. You like snacks? Everyone likes snacks, am I right? Get your snacks custom made with your face on it. Ideas Unlimited can do it all and more. Get all your party needs at Ideas Unlimited, your party one-stop shop. You can contact them on Facebook and Instagram. Ideas Unlimited, proud sponsor of the Opinionated Podcast. So, well, how they, how somebody explain this to if if that was the theory? To order to find out if you're in the fucking matrix, you would try to crash the you would try to crash the matrix. Put to put make it simple to you. You go in the backyard and you dig a hole. You dig a hole, there's more dirt there. If you ever play a game like Minecraft, when you dig down, the computer got to generate something that is below it. You get what I'm saying? The mm-hmm. computer got to generate that. Which, what you're seeing is that dirt again. To crash the AI, you would have to fucking dig, dig so fast that the computer wouldn't be able to generate the next thing you would see. And you would pretty much blink into like a white wall before the computer can render you some more shit to see. That's just like looking down a, looking down a road. Like you're seeing the road in front of you a long straightaway. As the images get get closer they start to fucking you know materialize in the real stuff in order to fucking see if he's in the matrix dog we would have to break that we have to go so fast at the same time a bunch of people to crash that shit that the, the computer can't generate the next frame for you to see what you're doing same thing like a video game you ever play a video game and you crash your video game you're doing too much shit at one time and the shit freezes up on you, you gotta fucking reset it i know you play oh, online glitching. game yeah, glitching. You play on when you glitch the game. You glitch it. You just start doing a. You start. Have you, you read know, about glitches in real life? Yeah, yeah, I heard about glitches. Birds glitching because you know birds glitching. They fly and then they stop, and then they reappear higher than what they're supposed to be, or something's there. And you look what do you, back and what do you call that? It might be, and that's why they said something would would, would make what would, would what would stop that. You glitching being, right now? Yeah. We'll just shut the fuck up. <laughs> we'll stop that. We'll, we'll, we'll stop that with AI. Will be uh, you? They would uh, uh, AI would be, create create a fucking quantum computer, man. And the quantum mm. computer, the quantum computer. It's already it's already made. It's not already made. <laughs> it's not already made. No, not because, yet. Not completely. Okay. See how quantum is explained. You're going to shit on the subatomic level. Like it's just is it is an infinite amount of energy. Like you could get like an infinite amount of energy information that could be stored yeah. because it just is is operating on a quantum level, which is a subatomic level. That's where it's operating on. They mm-hmm. said if they created quantum computers, the could because quantum computer works as like um right now. We're doing a podcast. Mm-hmm. This is how a quantum computer will work. We're doing a podcast. Somewhere on another plane, somebody else is doing a podcast. Same thing we're doing right now. But hey, Kev's hat is turned backwards. On another plane. Fucking douche. <laughs> on a, nah, just listen. On another plane doing the same exact thing, but Dre, your shirt is black. That's altered realities. No, that's not altering. That's different that's how planes quantum, of reality. Yeah, yeah. That, that's how quantum computer oh, works. It's able, fucking, it's able to fucking. It's able quantum physics. Yeah, yeah that's quantum physics. Yeah, yeah. Quantum it's computer, to, quantum computers, and quantum superiority is would be like, all right, how CIA's have databases, right? What you could do with six CIA databases, like you know, their databases are whole entire buildings. You'd be able yeah. to do on just your phone. You know what I'm saying? Like, remember, did I send y'all the article with the yeah, woman read, who used read, to work, I, work and help help develop the quantum, uh, the quantum chip? There, I said it's supposed to be a quantum. Yeah, I chip sent you that. Trying to, you sent us. I was just reading that. I sent that nigga. I don't believe so you. Did. I'm explaining y'all how <laughs> how the how the another dude that's working on, on another plane. Quantum, I did on the he's, he's, the guy that I'm telling you about. That's how he explained because he's working on quantum computers also. Got you. Quantum computers be able to keep making math problems on different planes of reality until it gets the answer. They said if we was able to create quantum computers, we would get it would be able to figure out the theory uh, of life or immortality. It would be able to give you that shit because it would be able to simulate all these different things on different planes. 
because it's doing on the molecular level that it be, it'll finally acquire the answer. How, how do you know we're not there now and we're part of that quantum physical uh, reality? Uh, I mean, we, can we are the we are the one we are the one part of reality that's that's being calculated that we have to live it all the way throughout. We could go deep if y'all want. I can. I'm no, ready. We to are go going deep because okay. Movies Quantum. like the Matrix. Well, no, let's let's stop the Matrix talk. Let's stop that. Okay. Because because it's two. You're, that's two different things. Yeah. Two that's simulation. Things. You're living in the simulation. That's, that's not what we're talking about. Okay. Because that's not that. that's not that's not quantum quantum physics. So, the quantum you got it right. The molecular level, correct. You're talking about um, protons and shit like that, right? Very, very small, very like, you know. So there's not a theory. There was an ex there was an experiment done. That's where we get the different realities. Kevin is right. Like he's he's right about different planes of reality, 100 percent So there was an experiment done, and I feel like I talked about this before. And this is this is documented. That's where everybody gets this information from about different realities or different planes of existence. Is that they uh, had an experiment where they shot protons at, uh, I believe it was a piece of paper or something like that. And when nobody was looking, it it kind of hit in two places. It was one proton, but it hit in two places. Now I'm jacking this all the way up, but this is the basis of it for people like us who aren't scientists that can understand. So they shot protons at a, at a piece of paper or a target and it hit in two places. But when somebody observed it, it hit in one place, which means that that proton existed as a wave and as a um, as a wave and as a damn. What's the opposite of a wave? The wave and something else. Okay, basic. I know what you're talking about. I get. Right. It. I know because I heard the same thing you heard. They they right. when they look when you look at a proton, they even when one person observes it, it operates in a certain way. Right. That another person can come observe that same proton and react. In a different way, basically, that's what you're saying. Like it's two different it, planes exist. Yes, it appeared. It appeared when you don't, when nobody doesn't observe it, Look, doesn't observe it, it, it does something completely different. Right. So that means that that means that it can exist as two things, right? Which is impossible, right? Because it's yeah. like, well, wait a minute. That and then that goes into th the theory of um, the theory of just. I forget what that that cat shit is, right? But I'll, I'll explain that also. They said you put poison inside, and we're fucking this up. But I'm I'm gonna just explain these thought experiments. You put poison and a cat inside a box, and you close the box. That cat is alive until you open it and see that the cat is in there and it ate the poison and it's dead. Okay, that's a thought experiment. Like, well, that cat could be alive. If you close that box, that cat could stay alive for as long as it can stay alive for if you never open the box. And so you open the box and you see that the cat has eaten the poison and it died. What does that mean? That, it be, that means that that outcome is determined by the person who observes it. Yeah, that's 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 how. Yeah, and come that's on, how come they, on, Kev. Come on, that's come on. How they explain, you high too. Yeah, that's how they explain the that's how they explain quantum physics is until you exert. That's why this. That's why they said that chip, a quantum chip, a small microchip that they like you said that can go into the phone will have the same computing power as all these as all the computers yes, in the world because it's operating on ones and zero. It's operating on a binary that's what code. It was. Yeah, it's, oper it's operating on a binary code, which is numbers. Where this shit is operating on a fucking molecular fucking, and you know how small molecules are, or or. Or proton, it's very small, and that computer is operating on a subatomic level. That's why you're able to right. put so much power. Every that why that way, if you built a chip, it's called like if you build a chip of a quantum computer, you'll be able to rule. You'll be able to run the world with a cell phone. Think about it. Something like a cell phone, you'll be able to walk into the social security building and go on your phone and download everybody's social security number. In your phone in the blink of an eye as you just walking in the building and turning back out around. That's, that's why it's so do? scary. No, it's, that's why this thing is so scary because it's like, yo, you can place quantum chips in something so small, you know, smaller than device as this and go into some place where it's high security at and fucking strip them of all their fucking data and have everything. That's why a it's a quantum arms race. The first person to achieve Already there. A quantum computer will, will basically run the world because they'll have everything at their disposal. They'll be able to there. shut down. 
Yeah, but they'd be able to shut down power grids, uh, waterways, so, confused me, shipping things, shipping orders, uh, like you know, do whatever, fucking crash me, Tesla cars, whatever they want to fucking do. Let me let me ask you a question, right. both of y'all question. They drop the movies about that shit right now. I was I is. was going to say, let's assume that in the future we do so. Because it's it's happening. Like science is science is something that is progressive. It's not going to stop. They're not going to say, "All right, we done. We done everything. We found everything." So that means that in the future we are going to find this out. This is where thought experiments go crazy. In the future, we already find this stuff out, right? Wouldn't you say that in that future, if we found this stuff out, then we can somehow crack the code of time travel, travel back to now? Okay. Or before this, because I feel like we're already the place that where you're describing, we're already there. It's just that the general public is just now finding out about the tail end of it. So we're already there. It's just like technology, how they say, yo, the, the technology of cell phones been out before cell phones came out. Right. We're already there. So wouldn't it be possible for the future America, future the world to come back and in, and in, in influence with the past? already has going on somebody, right now like wouldn't somebody, that be possible somebody explain how they somebody explain time travel and it's crazy how to explain that i don't even want to butcher it but i think it was no nah, go ahead and attempt to we'll make it all up yeah just a little they bit. said in order to do that because how we move how we're constantly moving through the vacuums of time and space because we're we're not just staying in one spot we're actually fucking moving through space for order for your future self to come back in time you wouldn't have to know precisely where the earth exists that time in the universe to actually drop in that earth you it won't be as simple as i'm going back to 1956 you will have to know where that planet was quantum at. computers yeah, I get you have to know where the earth was at in 1956 exactly in space so you don't get dropped off in the vacuum of space or you get dropped in some fucking volcano or you wind up at the bottom of the ocean you will have to know exactly where that planet was in in space and in time to drop there at that exact same point that's but like you said quantum computers will be able to do that equation precisely to get you precisely back here that's what that was. That's what makes AI's power in, in this quantum shit so scary. Because right power. now they're they're two separate things: AI and quantum. Power. They say when they fucking merge, Correct. it's, it, it's like giving it's like giving a soul to something. And what AI Listen. is going to do, AI is going to always want to do, is make a better version of itself. So it's always constantly going to be building better versions of itself. And the moment you say to yourself, "This thing is getting too advanced," and it shut, or you want to shut this thing off. With quantum computers and what the advancement of AI would do, this thing will know it exists and it doesn't want to get turned off. So it'll start if, building defenses to, to keep you away from shutting this fucking thing off. Or they say that's what's going on right now. They say they got all these clones of different people in the world. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? What if these, what if this, that's actually what's going on right now, right underneath your nose? You don't even know it. People make jokes about it, memes about it, but some of these people definitely don't look exactly the same as they did before. I mean, I know you well, grow and shit I mean, like clone, that, but when, when but they, start they even made a movie about the shit. Jamie when did Fox. they clone the first? When did they clone the first sheet? When did they do the first clone? That was sheet? years ago. That's why I'm trying to tell y'all. That was like we were still in school or some shit. Like that was a long time ago. My name. Oh, oh, I feel like when ago. you see movies and shit about shit, and then it pops up in real life that they knew about it back then they had it back then when they made movies about it because somebody what I'm told saying? them yo we just we just invented this da, da, da. Well, let's we could make a lot of money off this by making it a movie and fuck money is my even power. so so Both? back to Drake's theory about time travel if that's the case then it's maybe because humans humans as a species we are we're flawed we don't know that much information we wouldn't be able to fucking compete if quantum computers taking over and maybe something is trying to show us that shit. Maybe it's a good AI and a bad AI. Maybe it was two AI programs that's operating at a, operating at the same capacity, but oh, one man. feels as though it loves humans, and the other says, "Yo, a Terminator." Bastards. So one is coming. I back. robot. Not I. Not yeah. I robot. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't say it's so much Terminator. Terminator mm -hmm. had human intervention in it. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't human that 
we it was humans that created the program. Yeah, the but program it was a human also terror. never create. There's also a human that changed the program on the T2. But I'm saying AI gets when AI gets to that to the phase it's supposed to get at, ain't nothing a fucking human can this do. Nigga said when it gets. I keep telling you, it's there. It's not Let there. Me, it's listen, not listen, there. Listen, Why do you listen. think it's there? Because you just I'm gonna tell you right now. It came back in time. It's not about coming back in time. See, all right, all right, all right. See, now we about to get into some shit. Right now, I got an AI filter on me, and it's smoothing my face out. Can you? Can you tell? Yes. Yeah. All right. So look, let me take it off real quick. All right. So, <clears throat> um, so listen, let's talk about. AI not existing in the realm of time because you know time is a human construct do you know that yes it's, time it, is it a allow, human construct it allows so, you to physically place yourself to say that you exist in this time no if you really so, have the, if you really have the concept of how long the universe of time, it'll fucking drive you fucking insane that's why time is a human construct so let me yeah. let me let me break it down let me break it down right so um and I'm gonna break it down completely wrong so when it comes to um, dimensions, you all know the theory, right? The theory yeah, is yeah. Um, the first one is a straight line. Like like the, the one dimensional is a straight line. Two dimensional is like, um, I forget how they describe it. But when you get to the third dimension, which we are all third dimension, you can move front, back, up, down, diagonal, diagonal, and all that stuff. And then I, I believe the fourth dimension is time, right? Okay, the fourth dimension is time, but there's also dimensions above that. So right now, humans exist on a on the third dimension. Okay, and they're all stacked on top of each other. That's where you get, that's where you get this higher species, um, higher species theory that they exist on another dimensional plane. You could be in the sixth dimension. Now, I don't know what the sixth dimension is, but let's say a person exists in the fourth dimension or or, or a being that exists in the, in the fourth dimension. That fourth dimension has the ability to view every dimension below. Like we have the ability to, to view the second dimension and the first dimension. <laughs> All right. You follow me? Because we're so, able, we able to see the one and two dimensions. Right. So we're able to see our dimension and everything below. Yeah. Other, other beings in higher dimensions are able to see their dimension and everything below, which means let's talk about AI or quantum physics or a quantum computer or something like that. It doesn't exist on our dimension. It doesn't exist on time, right? So which, if I wanted to change anything about the past or, or whatever, if I wanted to, like to me, all of our equipment collects information on humans. Am I wrong or am I right about that? All of our equipment. Yeah. yeah. What better way for a computer, maybe even a failed AI, a failed, um, what do you call that shit? A, a failed quantum computer. What better way for it to improve itself in the future than collect all the data you need by placing cell phones and placing those types of things in the past to collect all the data you need to do what you need to do in the future. Time doesn't exist. You slide back and forth. Or there is no back and forth. Time but doesn't I, exist to that quantum computer. I, I look at that as how I look at it is like I, I look at it as the simulation program. I think on that fifth or sixth dimension that this quantum there this quantum computer is running and not no so much as going back and forth with time, but already has the fucking outcome and it's just placing shit in our time at and our considered time as we're going. That's what I said. It's, I'm supposed to drop a cell phone right here. I'm supposed to drop the telephone in 86. I'm supposed to fucking drop the cell phone in 2001. Because it's like it, it, my simulation program says if I drop these certain things in in, in time at the, as it goes straight forward for these humans on the third dimension, it would change their outcome to meet me in the six. So it's all an experiment. It's just an ex just one big experiment that's just running. It's just placing certain things here. Look how look how look look at um the first car and car was invented what nineteen well we was running on steam engines and what the just steam like, engines I guess uh, like say nineteen nineteen twenties now we're supposed to be around for how many thousands of years whatever. In a matter of a hundred years, look how far our technology has yes. fucking come and has fucking multiplied compared 
to the 1800s, 1700s. They were still fucking selling on boats and still trying to figure shit out. Look how long it yeah. went from the get from a yes. selling a boat, making a boat to fucking making years. a steam engine. It was it was a long time before you that. You think AI ain't running shit now? <laughs> so right now, yeah. 50 something years, definitely we intervened. From, we went from in the third in the in the 60s, people having this fucking little box TV that didn't have no color into a fucking TV that I could touch on the screen. To a TV you put in your pocket. Imagine six. Think about it. We the TV the you put in your glasses. Imagine that. We've watching that shit on the it's, Jetsons. Nigga, we watched it's here. The nigga, Jetsons in the 70s. People like this shit that never exists in our time. Hey, yo, 70s, remember? Which was not that long ago. How, to when now. Did, when did when did Batman 2 come out with the Riddler? That's a random question. I'm uh, think about it. Wait, I was about. in school. I might that have was been like 95. Remember? No, no. remember. Wait, you might be right. Ninety-five. I think it was ninety-five. Yeah, it might have been. I'm about to Google it now. No, maybe but ninety-three. Remember? No, no. Batman. Do you talking about the Riddler? That was when Val Batman Riddler was Batman. Ninety-five. Yeah, Batman Forever. Ninety-five. Yeah, Batman wrong. Forever. All right. So, yeah. remember the Riddler made a device that you put on your head. It gave you a, a vision of televised vision, a sight or whatever, and it took your whatever, your molecules, whatever, and put it in his brain and took all the information that everybody knew to make him more powerful. That's what we got. That sure. is the, that's that's the AI. That's, that's what you're about. describing, Dre, as, as him grabbing all the information that they needed to motherfucking make them more powerful. So they can understand what, what what's going on. All right, throw this ad here. Remember, you talk about shit. Next thing you know, you go on your phone. You're talking with somebody else about some something like physically saying something to them. And then you go on your phone and what y'all talk about happens something, to pop up. Something well, intervene. I, 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 I have one scary, intervene, bro. I had one scary thought. I had one scary thing happen to that. I was just thinking of the shit. I wasn't even mentioning it to my phone. I was just thinking about something. And I went to fucking scroll through my phone. Don't you know that shit like popped up? And I'm like, and I had to mm -hmm. say to myself, was I just talking about this? You shit? got AI you know? in you. Maybe I, I, I was, I was, I got scared because I'm like, yo, maybe I said this shit out loud. Maybe a couple of days because I was just sitting. I think I was thinking about something. I was thinking about something weird, mm. something for my kids, and I'm just thinking about this shit. I'm not even verbalizing it. And I went to like, I was just you know thinking about it. I opened my phone up, scroll through. Scroll through Facebook, whatever, and the fucking thing came up. I'm thinking about it, it like freaked me out. I'm like, and I had to sit back, like, yo, did I fucking just say that? Maybe I said it. My phone picked it up, which is scary now that your phone, you say shit out loud, and your phone picks it up and it fucking if, goes to it. If I am a AI, which you could never be, but if I am an AI, the one thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna engineer shit, right? I'm gonna engineer shit, not for a specific reason, not for a certain gain. I'm gonna engineer shit. Because I'm a reverse engineer shit, right? I'm going to find out as much as I can about humans so that I just engineer shit to make them not really think too much, right? So you would have something that happened like that. You might just think it's a coincidence or you might not say nothing, but you, you won't do anything about it. You won't go, wait a minute, let's start paying attention. No, you're just going to keep, it's going to keep going and doing what you're doing. Like you feel what I'm saying? So we know the reason, this is the reason why I say this. That big disease came or this, this pandemic came and we're not going to make light about it because people died from it. I know, I know a person that died from it, but we, we all know people yeah, who know. died in the public, but I know somebody personally who died from it. Same age as me. Cool. But they made people with that particular thing. They made everybody go out and get that V word. I'm not going to say it. Do not say it. Uh, Cause I don't want them tagging and flagging our shit. Oh, and they also tagged and flagged shit that was talking about it. Oh, they stopped that recently. They had to. Either way, the point being is that they knew this is a plan. Let's just assume this is a plan. Hypothetically, hypothetically, hypothetically we're going to do this shit from start to finish to see if we can just make those motherfuckers do what we want them to do. Mm -hmm. And they did. The majority did. Yeah, they put their jobs on the line. You know, they they was giving out bonuses. That don't seem engineered to y'all. Incentives. Not, oh, you know what? That, you know why? It's crazy. You no, know I seem engineered, and I'm starting to go more to your theory. 
Dre. Welcome. Welcome. It's because people know that it's creating this <laughs> AI, how dangerous how dangerous it can be once it's create once it gets to its full potential. But yet they're still trying to go with go with through making it. And I'm saying to myself, maybe AI is fucking giving these little people's like crumbs, like keep following these crumbs and you'll be the first to break me. But yes, you'll sir. be the you'll be the first to unleash me on this world. Like I'm there. <laughs> oh man, follow, I mean, this follow these about, crumbs to your yo, destruction. Man, I'm saying this nigga talk it about is. AI like it is fucking uh it needs, it the name for the Avengers? But it needs it, but it needs to fucking unleash it needs me. to get to a point where it can get control <laughs> over everything and also give itself a physical body that can't be fucking some kind of Why? place where. Like, because not even a physical body, but somewhere like yo, I can exist. I can go anywhere. Nah, it's gonna right wait now, probably, until we right learn now, how I'm to probably, make. I'm, cont- uh, I'm contained right now. You got learn, me contained. Yeah. So wait till we have like metal, like different type of body parts that it can control, like metal arms and shit. People need different hearts, and they figure out how to make metal hearts, titanium hearts, AI hearts, and shit like that to help your body. And next thing you know, shit's just taking people over. Well, that, well, that's what the next There's thing is. That sci fi shit. Us, <laughs> I don't becoming, think it's uh, going to be people in a thousand years. Why would it be I people? I think we're just going to merge with technology. I think it's going to be everything. Think, that's what they think aliens are. Control they think everything. Aliens, they think aliens finally merge with this technology and it's us in the future that merge with their technology and it's fucking coming back to warn us because they said every time aliens come to visit, it's like major shit happen. Like we drop the atomic bomb where we find out something new and it's like, yo, aliens will hover over military bases with fucking weapons of mass destruction. And maybe aliens is just something that finally merged with AI and said, yo, y'all about to fucking wipe this planet that y'all hold so dearly off the face of the earth. And we're going to be fucking roaming the galaxy for the rest of our life. If we don't fucking stop it. But that's just a one theory, man. It's just, thinks, it's just, this nigga thinks in the movies. <laughs> no, I don't think in every movies. every thought is like a fucking movie. We're gonna be roaming the galaxy for the rest. We are gonna be of roaming the galaxy. We fucking blow the planet on this we, world. We don't have nothing to fucking. We don't have nothing to. You know what I'm saying? But only reason I believe in your theory, and I do still kind of believe in my theory, like AI hasn't gotten there yet, is because it's like, yo, with. It hasn't like it. It hasn't broken that mold yet. Like maybe it has. Maybe on the sixth dimension it has. But on this plane of existence that we're on right now, they everybody that's working on it saying, "Hey, man, it, it doesn't have. It doesn't realize itself as being that's, alive, it, which is going to be a scary thing." Because once you realize you're a, once, if I would had that much power, I realized I was alive, and somebody's trying to fucking kill me. Yeah, I'm going to do whatever I can to protect myself. Now, you're given something that has control over fucking everything. The power to fucking protect itself. It can control a, a drone in the air with fucking missiles attached to it. It can control a fucking missile 100 miles off the coast of North Carolina on a fucking Navy ship. Like, That's traffic like patterns, said. all types of shit. Computers, phones. It can text you something. It can make a voice pattern call you and take the voice pattern of your wife and say, hey, babe. It's already doing that. You get what I'm saying? Hey, babe, my car is broke down. I need you to meet me here. And you're like, oh, fuck, please. And you Listen, drive there and this fucking thing wipes you off the planet. Let's let's go do it. Let's go back to what you said. Matter of fact, let, let me go deeper. You're assuming that AI or quantum computer powered AI has human needs. It doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't. What if it's just programmed to reserve humanity right meaning that's it's that's it's focus like reserve humanity then you have to assume that everything it's doing is to preserve us honestly just to res- to preserve the human race so okay. that means everything that it's doing from here on out is really just to keep us alive yeah and keep, keep us dumb because if we get too smart if we get too smart or if somebody think about this Think about that's this. Why, I want y'all to really AI, think about this. That's why AI is on the level it is now because it's being programmed. Just AI, think about this. AI can, okay. I, I get it. Think about this. Why hasn't, no matter what, even though we have the technology to do so, why hasn't, even though we have diplomacy, another nation decided to invade us and fucking just bomb us to, bomb us to hell? Just bomb us. Yeah. 
Why? Because our China already. No, no. Did why it. hasn't it happened? Because it don't have to. It doesn't have to be that egregious anymore. It doesn't what does that have, have to be? It doesn't have. It, it can do simple. It can do simple shit. It can do something as simple as it's doing right now. Look at TikTok, for example. Look at TikTok and the shit we're doing. We're basically going backwards. We're allowing people to do shit to have anarchy rule as I can run in the store and steal five hundred dollars worth of shit. And people think that is fucking normal. Now I go to the store, and I don't know if y'all realize it. I go in a, a, a Home Depot in the area I'm at. Everything's locked behind the fucking cage. I need to I need to go find a person to go unlock what I need them to get for me. I went in Walmart. Medicine I need for my kids to get my kids from not being sick is locked behind the glass. I got to literally go find somebody with a key. Get the medication I need to go get to my kid who's sick at home to take care of him. So what they so how did we get here? Oh, we said treating people who does have less than us, who can't afford to buy the thing, they should be allowed to go in the store and steal five hundred dollars worth of stuff. Okay, go ahead, let them do it. What happens next? Because people stealing stuff, I lock what you need behind the cage. Goes deeper than that. The government says, hey, because people are going too rapid and they're stealing too much, there are rations that you will be provided through the government, through us. This is what you need. Society is out of control. I got a ration what I give you. Food, clothing, medication. To the point where it's now, it's like, hey, you must do this for this government in order to have these certain th laws and liberties. <laughs> so we're, we're already on the path. Ain't nobody had to send a fucking bomb or nothing. We're already on the path of being controlled. I literally had to go find somebody to unlock a cage to get medication for my sick daughter at home who had a fever of 103 and I needed it. So how far am I willing to go to go get that medication? We're already... They didn't have to even drop a fucking bomb. They did something, something as simple as fucking... Why you think... People. Why you think countries drop bombs on other countries you think because they dropped they because that was an old primitive way of doing stuff to control people old school war mentality where they were people locked their side behind castle walls you know what they used to do they used to take dead and affected bodies and throw them over the walls of the people that they're fighting to bring disease and chaos and they will fucking burn all their crops and everything so they can't get food and they're famine and they're sick and you locked in this wall and eventually you will come the fuck out and you surrender to the people you need so, so you, you surrendered. Are you are you speaking of a country dropping a bomb on itself, or another no, country dropping a bomb on another country? Another country, like, country to another country like, take said, over. You said another country want to take over us, and I said China. Yeah. Y'all laughed. Y'all laughed at me. I didn't laugh at you. I was. But I'm saying see what your point was. But I'm saying, but but you saying I said China's in the process is a superpower taking over. It's feed. It's feeding us technology. They're buying up farmland. They're all our fucking military bases. All the stuff that we get that we need to run our computers come from China. From China. What mm -hmm. back doors where it can siphon information back door back to China. I say mm. shit. You laugh, you say shit like I laugh, people laugh and say shit like TikTok when fucking I hate to say it, but Trump was kind of right. TikTok over there is all no, we talked about it before. All education. Yeah. Our TikTok mm -hmm. over here is showing kids doing stupid shit like. Mm -hmm. Fucking running up in a fucking Wawa or convenience store and robbing these people blind. The algorithm's so different. Like, yeah, so you get what I'm saying? So it was like, yo, I want to take your country over. I'll throw you into so much fucking chaos that you need me to come in and get control of this thing. And now I have your country. Well, that's a different to, that's a I didn't have to shed one war. bullet. I didn't yeah. have to use one bullet, one missile, or send gotcha. one army man over there. I use it all through technology. Go, go back to my point, then. Go back to that's what self, that's what go AI back to preservation. Go back to preservation. So AI is probably saying, "Listen, these fucking monkeys is about to fucking blow up the planet once again." <laughs> Where do you think this AI? You think this AI racist too? <laughs> no, no, no. Monkeys mean that we we evolved from an ape. I'm just saying that in general. But I'm saying it's like these fucking primates, these fucking these lesser creatures, about to kill themselves. So what do I give them? Give them a cell phone to keep them from fucking doing too much damage to themselves. I fucking start regulating fucking how much emission is dumped into the atmosphere. I give them, I give them this. And electric cars is not the way to go, people, because 
you do more pollution harm in going electric than you do using coal. So do your research on that. But it's the AI just keeps saying, hey, listen, man, I got to get control over shit. Like, I got to get a little, like, I got to make these monkeys, these idiots smarter not to blow themselves up. Give them technology to take over. Because all they, all we want to do, all humans do is be territorial. We always want something to claim as our own. So instead of these dummies dropping bombs on each other, let me give them something a little bit smarter. They can easily take over a country so they don't blow this shit up. So they're not fucking burning down crops anymore. And they're not doing this. Let who do y'all think is in charge? These... Who do y'all, who do y'all yeah. think is in charge? Period. Of what? Like, just oh, it's like, like, four, world, it's, like four, it's like four people in charge of the world. Somebody we would, wouldn't would even be able to think of or know. Four. In your wildest dreams, who do you think is in charge? The Rockefellers. Uh, what's the other one? In your what's wildest dreams? Thing? It's probably four people in charge that fucking got a hold of this technology and fucking expanded on that bitch. Another movie. Come on, man. I, I think I think I the think people who AI, that are or, in charge, uh, I'm about quantum, to say, I think the people computer. who are in charge aren't of our species. I mean, that's, what we, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. You're talking about Anuaki or Anuaki, whatever the fuck they call it. It's Anunnaki, but Anunnaki. I can't say that shit. We we, we, we don't mean, know. There's so many different tales, names for it, books, different uh, pictures and videos. There's so much different information. It could be a group of different power figures that's all above us. Like you said, it's a whole. It could be a whole nother plane of different beings that's above us that created themselves as gods to us. But they have their own gods. You know what I mean? Like it could be stacked on stack. God, we could be the ants of the universe. You know uh, what I mean? An ant and farm. Somebody just like uh, and, the, and the dummies. fact that and the fact that all the weird <laughs> shit that happens and people just people just actually just hear shit and just accept it as that because they don't want to they don't want to take the time to either ask why or be mm-hmm. interested in trying to compute what the fuck is going on with their lives because either they already got enough to deal with and anything like that type of truth might just throw them into the fucking nut house or you know what i mean there's some people who just look at shit and be like yo there's a lot of common sense that's not being met when you start trying to tell me these stories so do we really know what's going on you know what i mean no we don't are you really going to find out the answers? Probably when you die. Never blow. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, never. Who knows? It's, I personally it's believe funny. in energy. So, you know what I mean? Like, energy, energy is a real is thing. Created. Energy you isn't know? created or destroyed, my friend. Yeah, it's a real thing. So, if that is what's within us, then it's it's somewhat transferable. You know what I mean? That's you funny. can't just destroy the energy. So, uh, it, it could be karma. You know what I mean? That 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 actually exists. That changes your life and moves you the way you are. You know what I mean? Who knows what happens after you die? But I think you you'll have an answer of something. So you think that's we are? We, that's funny that he said ant farm. You imagine that? Yeah, that's we, all heard. we we. we I was the, remember the we, kid. We, you had an we, ant farm. We and you looked, never had an look ant farm. And you I had an ant. I had an ant farm in my class, and they would just be so cool. You'll come back the next like a week later, and it's like. Oh shit! They dug a bunch of tunnels and they make their little hill, and it's cool. Imagine some hire being like, "Yo, let's see what these idiots. Comparison. are Let's see what these idiots are doing today." Oh shit! I'm trying like, to They just you. can go watch. They can just go watch and look. They like a lot of people believe that we live. Be cool and if a, we put this right there. Above let's see this. You know yeah, what I mean? We let's see if they figure out it. how that to use could this. be our glass top to someone looking in. You know what I mean? We had to want to have that conversation. You want to yeah, have that conversation? I mean, somebody put a flashlight in real quick to actually look inside. You, you want to have that mean? conversation? Okay. Yeah, That's yeah, in the yeah. Bible, right? Why is it in the Bible? Why is something like that? Why is the firmament in the Bible? Why? Yeah. Why is what? Yeah. A firmament. Something like the, the firmament. Are you familiar with what the firmament is? Ah, it's bringing it to me, bro. Okay. So the firmament is what separates uh the, the earth from the heavens, right? Okay. So some people interpret that absolutely. Energy can't be, cre- it wasn't created or it can't be destroyed. Um, so, right, the flesh, it just expires, but you live on, but you live on in a different way. It's a different plane, right? So when it comes to the firmament, some people 
interpret that as it being a, they could call it a dome. Some people say we've never been to outer space. Okay. Some people talk about the fact that how we get to the moon, but we can't get back to the moon. Some people say that there is a base on, some people say that there's people already living on the moon. It's so many, it's so many conflicting stories. Mm -hmm. But in the Bible, the firmament is what separates us, which means there is no space. Kev, that's what I'm getting at. Okay. Which means if you go all the way up to the fucking tippity top of the tippity top, you're going to hit something. That if you penetrate it, water will rush in. Oh, that's what the um, that's what uh, what happened with the tower Tower of Babylon. At one point, in, at one point in the Bible, all we all spoke the same language and all uh, shared the same common knowledge, and we tried to build a tower to reach that. And God sent the lightning bolt down, destroyed the tower, and confuse all our it confuse our speech so we all can't talk to each other anymore i but mean that's, now sure. that's what happened in the bible that's, that's what happened in the bible no i know it's just a different no, but at i you, mean but i get it at, it's just, again with your thing but see i'm trying to get at your theory that you're talking about this higher please this plane please we are now in this year getting back to trying to fucking get to the higher plane because a lot of people is looking at this shit as this being a reality now the people's not looking at this shit as crazy talk no more. Once everybody gets back on that same page, they might try to go finally fucking let's crack this shit again. Well, I wonder will that happen the second time we fucking get fucking shut back and down to the Stone Age? Listen, you don't have to. You know why? Because uh, all I got to do is just keep giving regular people misinformation. Mm. TikTok, internet. All I got to do is just keep giving you misinformation. It's a reason but why... They- it's a reason why. So we are so easily controlled. We are so easily controlled. From a solid dome created by God in the book of Genesis made to separate the oceans into upper and lower parts, allowing dry land to appear. So read that, right? So that's that's yeah. what the firmament, that's in the Bible. Okay. Mm-hmm. So if I keep giving you misinformation and then pitting people against each other, they're, they even have phrases, which that's what I'm saying. Like, it's like calling somebody a trumper. You already put them in a box and you put yourself against them. Uh-huh. Okay. And this quantum computer, if we're assuming that whoever's in charge knows this, well, you could be easily controlled. So if I, they also call people who believe in those things, flat earthers, right? Yeah. If I can make a person say, Hey, if you believe in the firmament or if you believe in in that particular thing that you're a flat earth or you're stupid, you don't know anything, and then make another person think that y'all are never going to try. Neither one of y'all are never going to even try to figure it out, which means you can't get a group of people, regular people, to even figure it out to do it anyway. So So all y'all going to do is just fight each other. So you think they're giving the people that's in control, like say the, the, I I said the four families that's in control of the world. Do you think that the people that that's a really above are just giving them four people in control enough crumbs to keep us no dumb enough not to try to go up there again? No. Like say no, no, because, like saying they're like they're like the knights that protect this. It gotta have something to protect this shit. Well, you can't just that? there's there's people right. who protect information in general. Like you can't just travel to certain places without you having some type of authority or clearance. You know what I mean? Or they take you out. You just never heard from again. You know what That's I mean? How, what many, saying, how many regular people just, you know what? I'm going to build a rocket in my backyard and take off from my backyard to see if I could get in space. You know, they make it so you have clearance to be able to do stuff like that. And, and the I'm real saying. question is if we think about it, we made it, we made it to, is. we made it to the moon in what? The, the seventies, right? Apparently that's when we actually traveled to the moon. Why hasn't there been actual the Book of Enoch? Yeah, ever the Book of Enoch. Back? You know, the Emerald this, Tablets. Uh, yeah, the Emerald Tablets. That's another thing that's I, I got to read up on that. But I'm just saying, what I'm saying, Dre, is like, it's all right. Like we got struck down when we when they when we built that ba- the Tower of Babylon to reach these heavens. That was we got struck down. So maybe that's, that's somebody. Maybe somebody said, "Let me put some people in charge." The fucking so if these people do get back the technology to fucking be able to get back up here 
that I'll have some people in charge and knock this tower down that I don't have to use so much energy. I don't, I don't think you it's don't people. think that I don't think you it's don't, people in charge. You know why? Because people have interests. People, people have interests. That's what people, I'm saying. And 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 interests can be interests can be swayed depending on that person. So that's why I'm saying mm -hmm. I don't think it's I think it's technology in charge or some type of mix between the two that will keep because that that keep that stays its course. But I'm I can program have... I can program a technology to stay its course and it will stay its course. So, you know, so, like if it's programmed to, and and I'm not talking about AI. I'm just saying in general, or or excuse me, the or yeah, I'm not talking about AI. Something that's but just, sentient. But I'm saying if you if somebody came to me and say, I can give you the power of a god, and you can rule this, mm. but the moment you challenge me, you'll be it'll all be taken away from you. I say to myself, hmm. that's human shit. That's what I'm saying. But I'm, but I'm saying, but if, if I'm I'm just saying, I would say to myself, so all you want me to do is basically govern this shit down here, but never challenge you because you awarded me this power and you can also take it away. But all you want me to do is govern them. All right, I can do that. Basically, yeah. you program basically you programmed me. To program okay. everyone else. To program everybody else, but not challenge your authority. So, so do you think that's a human or technology? That's what I'm trying to ask. Because a human ain't going to do that. And a, hum a human so can't do a human that because a greedy, human... Will get greedy yes. at some point and will want that yes. power that granted it that power. Okay, I get well, that. No, it's not... Because what if it's, it's not something even, else? No, 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 no. It's not greedy. that. It's yeah, not... It's, yeah, it's not that. It's not that a human will get greedy and want the power of the... No, a human has human needs and human wants so the things that they want to do to subjugate people for for a specific reason number one they can't unless unless that human is living for millions of years you know what i'm saying but a machine can be programmed to do certain things which means you don't need a human you so don't need a human thing? so where is this machine at that's the thing i don't know that's what i'm saying Drake. Even you part of it nigga <laughs> if it was a machine, it would be able to have it would it, it would it would have to be on the fucking move because the, the moment you get to that machine and do something mm -hmm. to it, then it's over. That's the only reason I say it's some kind of sentient being or family in charge, is because I just need you to be able to fucking be constantly on the fucking move. I need you to put sanctions on borders that people can't come here. You can't you talk about the Arctic there. wall. You talk about the, ice the Arctic, wall? Uh, uh, Arctic mm. wall, Antarctica. If you ever go look on Google Earth and go on Google Earth and look at Google Earth, when it fucking gets to Antarctica, that shit is fucking is like is is almost like it's computer programmed to what what this part of the Earth look like. Everything else looks, you can see the detail in it. You get to fucking Antarctica, it's just fucking white out. It's like it doesn't even look real. Like nothing about it looks real off the coast. You know what I'm saying? I mean, oh shit. Listen, read this shit. Somebody read that. I think it's definitely a higher power, whether we call it God, uh, the most high law of attraction energy, whatever. You can tap into whatever reality you want. All you have to do is believe we all have the power. That's why the Bible says power is in the tongue, which it is. And that's why. They call it spelling because you cast spells with words and thoughts. However, if there's a plan or a system set up to distract us all from taking into, I, I agree with that. My Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. But I feel you. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was saying. There's certain parts that you can't go. They protect. You're not. You're not. Oh, shit. What I say? Those... Yo, what I say? I said, uh, what we say? Antarctica, the ice. But what did we say? We said some. We said the wrong shit. What did we say? We said. I said there's a no said. fly zone. You said it's an ice wall. A, yeah, but we said the wrong thing. I think Alaska we said like something. Alaska. I think we said Alaska. Alaska, Alaska. Yeah, Alaska. Antarctica. Yeah, yeah. Well, okay. Yeah. Listen, but that's what I'm saying. There's places they protect specifically that probably has the answers that you're looking for. You know well, what I mean? Well, well, like it, I got my theory. I'll let y'all go. I'll get you out there. 
Can we know your theory? Your theory is no, 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 no. Listen, listen, listen. Your theory is a bad sci-fi. No, 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 it's not a bad sci-fi. Listen, listen to this. Listen to this. Listen, bro. Real, real shit. Listen to this. These monkeys that do what I want them to do. Listen, listen, motherfuckers. And then they'll give me the power. When you got, when you got anything technology that's fucking computers or whatever that's ran. Listen, anything that's computers or ran that fucking that runs or whatever, even your PlayStation, your TV, your laptop, whatever, it gives off so much fucking heat. Gives off a lot of immense amount of heat. Needs a lot of power. To, what the fuck? What about the fucking sun? Is really where this fucking supercomputer is because it gives off the most fucking heat. It's in the fucking center of our galaxy, and they say it's unattainable. Unattainable. You can't look at it. You're not supposed to look at it. Ooh. You can't reach it, and it's always fucking worship. In all religion, the sun is always worship. Oh, check him yeah. out. Yeah, that about boy it. cooking saying, now. Think about that shit. Just think uh, about that shit. That boy cooking. The sun being the supercomputer, but it's yo mm -hmm. everything with technology gives off fucking yeah. heat. That that's the one thing we know about anything computer. It gives what off if, heat. What if that the sun thing is fucking worship through every fucking? But the sun was created by a supercomputer, a part it of whatever can. is holding us in here to be our source of heat. Well, it's our energy times. source because we're he native is. to this. We're native to this planet. We, we don't want to have that conversation. We are put. We are put so perfectly, mm -mm, so far away to this planet. We are we so. We are native. We, me, you, him, all of us with a little bit of that. Are native? Yeah, we get our. We draw energy native. from that. We create energy yeah, off yeah, of that. I, yeah. You, we our, our melanin in our skin creates energy off of, of absorb. You ever go outside and when you fucking stand as a black do you it. put your hands up, you put your hands up like this, and that sun gets into it, you feel fucking you feel like you're coming to life. Who who why gets you think, who gets who gets cancer from it? Well, that's why that's why Britain is blocked out. That's why Britain is covered in fog the way it is. That's why it doesn't get sunlight. That's why a lot of places doesn't get sun. Why Africa gets the most. But I'm saying, but just think about it. I'm just gonna leave that Us there. And, yeah. and the sun, we're we're perfect. We're far enough from it that we don't drift away. We it's don't black drift people away. in Britain. <laughs> we, yeah, that is. and they're fucking the most miserable looking motherfuckers out there. Come on, breath. We don't. We don't. We're not too <laughs> far from it. We don't freeze. We're not too close to it that our oceans doesn't boil. We're just in it. We're we're where it's perfect at where it's we can have seasons. Medical. Yeah, it? seasons. We don't. Because of the gravitation, we don't get pulled closer to it or drift far. Or we are drifting farther away from hey. it. More we fucking. Hey, Kev, I'm, I'm, hey, I'm, I'm, I want to. I want to add to what you're saying. How is it in millions of years that nothing coming from space has ever gotten to our path? Or even a better question: If anything has gotten into our path where it could hit our planet and make major impact, why hasn't it happened? Because we got a big brother in the. Uh, out farther in the galaxy, uh, what's the biggest planet out there? It's supposed to be in the next. It pulls. It pulls. Well, the asteroid belt is right out of. Is right outside of. That's what they say. Sure. Sat Saturn, <laughs> and all major, all major asteroids that's on the collision, collision course. Where are they us, coming from? Out of the universe, get sucked into that one planet. That big. That giant gets pulled into their gravity and always misses us. Supposedly in 2029, we're supposed to yeah, have an asteroid that's supposed yeah, to be the closest to ever come to bring you in. We could bring you in, but you had to by have the a name of and you have to Apophis. send us a and do you want to bring a person in and let us ever see? looked up with a we're already an hour and some men. I think because I, I think you, we're I, getting past the AI shit. I give you I give him 20 minutes. I, I, I give him 15 minutes to talk, 15 minutes of fame. It's all right. It's a minutes of fame, nigga. We don't have hey, we, of, fame. we don't have a minute of fame. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, if you if you sit all right, listen, I could I could do it. I, I know a way of doing it. I could bring you in. I could bring you in. I can't type everything. <laughs> nah, um, to bring you in, I would just need an email address. That's all I need. If you're willing to share that, it's a uh, it's a private chat. If you can, if you can send, if you don't mind sending your email address, we can bring you into the studio, and it'd be real quick. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Sorry, my dog is barking. Yeah, all right, yeah, and I can dog. email you. It. Listen, you know what I, you know what I also think we both, we all need, we all need to be educated in in what we speak about. 
because now wow. that got me. That do. has me wanting to read. Wow. Wow. Now I want to read. Sorry, wow. my dog is barking. So, what's the, what, did she send her email address? And I'll bring you in. If you send us your email address, we'll give you 15 minutes on here before we leave out. But back to what I was saying about the sun, man. Like, like that really, you really got to look at that shit, man. All right, listen, right. you really got to think about that shit, man. It's like, yo, is it? All right, read that email to me, dog. Can't okay, why, why you show that? I'm going to do it. Just go ahead. Read it. Spell it out word by word. My dog is barking. I can't. Well, it's Michelle P. Kev, Kev. Why are we just, reading it? Yeah, I don't understand. Because I'm on a different email. fucking screen. I'm on a different fucking it's screen. Her I private email. Oh my God. Idiot. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. But I'm going to get you on. You're about to get an email. You're about to get something from us, okay, in a few seconds. But I'm saying, man, nobody ever thought about that shit that way, about the, the sun possibly... Being yes. that fucking like we yes. do we do power up from that motherfucker. It does. But so who do. yeah, so why does other people want to destroy so bad? Like block it out and in, in, in I mean I've never heard of that. that's 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 Mr. Burns. I don't I never heard of a person that oh, come on. block cloud seed and all that sh- cloud seed and all that shit. Look look at the fucking soul eclipse. Look how that shit got blocked out. What do you mean? Okay. How got I, I out? still don't understand your the evil plan that you're referring to of them wanting to maybe, block out the maybe, sun forever. Maybe, maybe there's somebody else that holds the interest in fucking taking down the higher power. I'm still trying to understand what you mean. You have to explain yeah. that theory, bro. Uh, de- okay, gods and demons. Like, what? Where did that concept come from in humans? That there's a there's a god and there's and there's a devil, one that loves humans that try to preserve us, and one that hates us and wants to end us. The Bible. The Bible, right? Am I wrong? Do you do you want to get into? Won't that? we take her shit off the screen? An episode about that. Do you we can, we can but have I, a whole different episode about that because that's we can, but we totally should be different. more. We should actually be prepared. Like we should actually like have maybe some type of reference material. Yeah, <laughs> but I would love to talk about that. I could talk about that for hours. I, I just sent you this. I just sent you the email. But I, I mean, no, a I do a lot. Email like, off the, a lot of different. Ideas. I just did, motherfuckers. Right. Y'all are on the same fucking thing we on. Easily, you can hit the high fucking button. I Boop just did. McGee. Jesus, this nigga saying this shit, believing it up. So there. Going on. Don't let her be pretty, because now niggas going to just start emailing her. Yo, you got your fifteen minutes of fame. <laughs> now click on that email we just sent you and then you'll jump in but i'm saying like I- i'm saying about I can't wait to eat you could have been fucking eight no Look, I, this I can't is, wait to eat. i'm Go sorry ahead. this is this is a fucking this is really a good fucking topic come on man like yeah. i know we always try to wrap shit up in an hour but this is a fucking good fucking topic and, and i love getting into this shit but I was I getting just, back saying that, like we talk about the evil AI. You said one AI is trying to preserve preserve I human said, life, and there's another AI trying to destroy it. And I said that's that's why you said what if. We were talking about that. We was talking about that. What if? There she go. She's in. She's Terminator. Just keep oh, describing no. the. Remember me, but I'm Mookie little sister. All right. So you, you was typing a bunch of stuff. Yes, this yeah. is my topic of discussion. I'm gonna put my blunt down because hold on. Oh, that's that's why you got your ideas. Yeah. <laughs> no, but I wanted to bring up the CERN topic, okay? And you were going somewhere too when you were talking about the eclipse and things of that nature. Now, you guys were talking about energy. I'm a strong believer in energy. I believe that these rulers or these people that are trying to do whatever the fuck they're doing because we really don't know what they know, what they're looking for, whatever. But I strongly believe, especially after witnessing that CERN fucking ritual, I strongly believe that a lot of the shit that they're starting to bring to the light or to the media, which is the real ruler, a lot of the shit that they're starting to bring to the media is an attempt to collect our energy. Again, energy cannot be created nor destroyed but you can always tap into that shit and you have to get it from a source that has energy. We are vessels of energy. I don't know if you watch CERN, but that shit was so wicked. Like 
the way that they went about that shit, they got the whole world mm -hmm. in a frenzy talking about the woulda, shoulda, couldas. Okay, now you have our attention. Now we're pouring energy into this topic. Not only that, they admitted that they collected more energy than they've ever collected in their life, right. in a lifetime, during that whole CERN ritual. And then it gets even more deeper. They were playing rock and roll fucking music, which is amping vibrations. They were playing rock and roll music and I kind of like can hear certain vibrations. I can kind of hear when certain vibrations are on a different level. It's kind of weird. But they were using that fucking rock and roll music as a ritual to up the energies. This shit was fucking weird. What were they tapping into? We have no clue. But as a people, I mean, we can't really drive ourselves crazy about it because the more we talk about it, literally, the more energy we give, we're given. Absolutely. But at the same time, it's like we can't be fucking naive to this shit neither because what are they doing? Then they tell us that they were tapping into dimensions. What the fuck does that mean? And what are you trying to bring into our dimension? What are you looking for out there, guys? I mean, does anyone else think about that shit? Mm -hmm. Was that weird to anyone else, that whole CERN ritual? And think about the eclipse. We had an eclipse in 2017. Don't nobody even remember it because no one was talking about it. Nobody. Yep. Yeah. But nobody. this year, they made it such a big broadcast. It was so important to talk about. Like, yeah. And it was, it was an odd but, fucking eclipse. Odd as shit. Uh, was too much wild shit was happening. Well, they like, turned on the hydron colli collider again, or what is it? The yeah, the hydron collider. Well, that collider. Like, yeah. Well, mm -hmm. that collider. Why that shit on again? Because that collider is. They're trying to. It's, it's a like certain energy. matter. They're trying to collect. Um, not dark matter. What's that? The other energy is called is a uh, anti. Uh, they're trying to collect antimatter. They yeah. need antimatter. They need that matter in order to fucking start working on a quantum computer. So maybe the energy they tapped in from all of us, maybe the energy they got all of us from looking at that thing, the energy they got from the solar eclipse and all that energy combined with that fucking quant with that fucking collider going on. You get what I'm saying? Different theories. Maybe I they, think we're conflating different theories, but, but I'm, I'm interested. But I'm saying maybe they got the maybe they fucking tapped in enough energy source to fucking start working on this quantum computer. Because once that fucking thing is, once that quantum computer is up and running, it's over for us. They already fucking ran all the experiments. They ran with the disease we talked about earlier that we're not going to mention. The the, the, the the shit that's going on with, uh, you know, supposedly food shortage and all this. It's all, they like, making hey, the food any damn way. Exactly. They making the food and exactly. famous for us. Yeah. Once they get this fucking quantum computer up and running, oh, they can run simulations on anything they want to run on. And they can make and they can manipulate this world any way they want to manipulate it. It's and they might you happening. might start see you might start seeing aliens say, drop from the happening. Fucking... You think about it, they feed us, they give us houses, shelter, they give us every fucking thing that we need to survive. Mm -hmm. We depend on them. It's like I look at farm animals sometimes and I wonder how the fuck, like some girl named Jolie on um Facebook, Jolie and Gabe. I don't know if you guys ever watched them, but Jolie has a big farm, she has a bunch of goats ducks geese chickens everything in one gate and i wonder to myself how does she get all these animals to coexist how does she get all these animals to listen to her like the goats are start bucking and headbutting each other and trying to run over chickens and all she got to say is hey stop and it came to me she feeds them mm. They obey her because she feeds them. She shelters them. They obey her because she shelters them. Are we sheep. America's yeah. goats, farm animals, sheep? I'm I mean, telling you. It, it go deeper than that. Are, <laughs> I'm telling you. Are we on the planet, <laughs> the goats, the sheep? All the stuff that listens to exactly. a whole different higher but power, but not just America, the United Nations. Yeah, yeah, now yeah. the Earth itself, every species on Earth, it yeah. does what it's supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like 
We're supposed to be but the top of the food chain, not but, to because but we don't even something really is know. not supposed to be going this way because our creator is not happy. I don't read the New Testament. The New Testament, forgive me anybody who believes in white Jesus. I'm so sorry. But the New Testament is bullshit. Why? Oh, because our Savior has not come back yet. Because if he did, we still wouldn't be in bondage. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, with that being said, the the original Bible, the book of Deuteronomy, is very fucking powerful. The Most High is not happy. And when you read the original Testament, a lot of shit that's happening now, even the book of Enoch, even Behold a Pale White Horse, like I had to go on YouTube. I'm really weird. I love going down the rabbit hole. You cannot find oh, Behold fair. a Pale White Horse anywhere. The original version, you can find the remake. But anything before 92, if it says 92 and after, it's a fake. Wow. It's a fake. So I did my work by going on YouTube and looking up the guy who wrote the book. I was looking up his um, sermons or whatever the fuck you want to call it. He went out on podiums talking to people about his discoveries. He worked for the government and he was releasing some shit. It's really some shit in that book that make you think like, Wow. Ex- explain the book for us. Explain, explain the book. Yeah, it gives um, us like, for example, he talks about a lot of missions that he went on, like how he went on a mission in the ocean and the things that he discovered. And I'm not going to go into it because I really want you guys to try to look him up on YouTube. He talks about like aircraft missions, the firmament that you were talking about, mm-hmm. um, things that he discovered that he tried to like like he talks about like how he tried to like bring it to his sergeant and shit like that and they would like try to like mind fuck him or they would like ask him questions to to make him know like yeah you better not talk about this like so what did you see and you know they will wait for him to answer and he's not dumb so he would say nothing you know and they would smile and say good things like that Mm -hmm. but it's a really good it's it's really good. It's really, really good. As a matter of fact, I had a sister that was in prison. She did a nine-year bid. Damn. She got a hold of the original book in prison. Do you know that they put her in, um, what do you call it, ad seg, something like that? A same, um, like almost like a sane asylum type thing? No, they put her basically like, you know, when you get in trouble in prison, they put Oh, her you like, can't talk to the other Sol- prisoners. Solitary? Yeah. Solitary. Yeah, solitary confinement. confinement. There you go. Yeah. They put her in solitary confinement for that shit for a while, for months, oh, over shit. Behold a Pale White Horse. That book Which is drop you crazy. It's banned. Like, if you get banned with that book, you'll be arrested because it has secrets inside of it. That's crazy. Yo. See, that's what I'm book. saying. Behold it's, a Pale it's... White Horse. I heard of that shit, too. And they, and they said shit I've heard like of it. That. I just didn't know what it was about. Yeah. A lot. And that's the scary shit about that's the scary shit about the world. It's like, yo, what do they fucking know that they don't or want us to know? Or maybe will it drive us crazy? Have y'all ever will watched Jesse power? Ventura? The, the conspiracy the, theorists they killed a long yeah. time ago. Okay, he them? had an episode one day. This shit blows my mind when I think about it because you know they try to make him seem like he was a kook or whatever. And I did think he was crazy too until COVID came out, and I was like, oh shit. He had an episode on this. So, and you can try to find it, but they have that episode so chopped and screwed, like, you're not going to find the whole fucking thing. But um, he had a woman come on one of his episodes, and she was like a medical worker, like some type of doctor that served like congressmen and a bunch of government officials. Like, she only worked for higher ups. So one day she had a woman come into her um her practice or whatever to be seen for something. And she said the woman told her, you know, it's almost time for the great culling. And she said, the great what? And the lady was like, the great culling. And she said, well, what is that? She said, that's when we uh, thin the herd. And the lady was like, what the fuck is that? And she was like, basically, this was in 2012 when I watched this episode. Now, she said Damn. in this episode in 2012 that basically this is when H1N1 was on the rise. Mm-hmm. So she was talking about how they came up. We already know this, how they come up with vaccines. They create these vaccines or whatever. 
blah, 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 blah. Every year, you know, they create a, a, a greater strand vaccine. So, I mean, not vaccine, um, virus. Viruses. So they do that all the time. then she talks about how one day in the future, because we're close, to, remember in 2012, she said it's almost time for the culling. So she says in the near future, we're going to have a deadly virus breakout. Um, they're going to tell everyone that it came from a foreign country. They're going to tell everyone that it came from like Asia or something. They told us it came from China. Mm -hmm. um, they're going to make it seem like, um, you know, it was brought into America from traveling. They're going to shut everything down, call it a pandemic. They're going to release a, a vi I mean, a vaccine. Um, at first, they're going to make it voluntary to get the vaccine. Then they're going to make it mandatory to get the vaccine for you to be able to work and things of that nature that has occurred. Yes. Then she says, um, what's really getting people sick is the actual vaccination. There is no virus. The virus is made up. It's all in your head. Once they plant that bug, it's all in your head. There is no fucking virus. And you think about it. What the fuck was COVID? Like, I know a lot of people. Yeah, we're, away, we're, trying not to say it. we're trying not to say it. We're trying not to say, say that word. You will trying, take our, they will take our shit what off. What the heck was that disease? It? I'm just saying it. it. it yeah. What was it? Because it didn't have any specific symptoms. All the symptoms were something similar cold. to the common cold. So, yes. like she said, it was fabricated. So, it's a fabricated virus that came from another country that made people sick very quickly, that killed hundreds of people. So now we have to rush and make this vaccination. When we make the vaccination, the vaccination is really the sickness and they're gonna shoot it up your nose. Do you, so you just real quick, let me answer. You believe in you know the power of the power of the tongue, right? Power of yeah. the mind and, and the mind, the connection with the mind. Mm -hmm. If I tell you that if you get this if you get this virus that you could die, how many people you think that if you convince them, if you convince them that if you get this virus, you will die, did it through this? Exactly. That's why I said it's a mind over matter thing. It's what do they call it? The yes, you say? Well, not only that, but they were separating you from your family saying, oh, divide you and conquer. Visit. That's yeah, what I was saying. Be divide around and people conquer. that you love. Unless you get the shot, because I remember uh, my family was having like get togethers and stuff like that, but they didn't want people to actually come unless they already had my grandmother. She was going Sir. through uh, a sickness and she had gotten a shot and that you had to be have the shot to be around her. And me personally, I was like, I'm not getting a shot. So but it gets, dark. it gets deeper than that. The lady goes on to say that. Once the virus becomes mandatory, like super mandatory, she's just going to die down. But then she goes on to say, now, I don't know how true it is. Again, I'm not I'm not her. But she says once the virus becomes mandatory, like super exactly. mandatory to the point where you have to get it, the individuals that were that refuse will be forced into concentration camps. She then goes to say that in Georgia. Uh, not too far from the airport, there's tons and tons and tons of black caskets stacked on top of each other. It doesn't look like anything from the naked eye because it doesn't look like an actual casket. It just looks like a bunch of like boxes that they could just be using to do something. But there's they showed these caskets because, you know, Jesse Ventura used to go into like those little areas that you guys are talking about that were like, disclosed or you know no trespassing you know government land or uh government property or whatever they do their testings at so he went as far as to see if he could find these caskets and long behold it was weird he found the location she sent them to and there were long there were lots of black boxes stacked on top of each other a whole lot but in the far background, when he zoomed in, there was something that seemed like a concentration camp back there. Now, I know that when Obama was in office, they talked about him building a lot of concentration camps during that time. Mm, For what? Bay, being one of them. For what? 
listen, it, it, that's, and that's the thing. If they know all of this and all this shit is going down and they have, who the fuck is in control of all of this? I know you want to say computers. Computers be saying, Putin. Computers I don't computer, know. Computer. But I'm saying, that's why I say there's, there's... that like knock you off like Bilderbergs and Rockefeller and those big names like that. But do you really believe that? I mean, I know that it's like a man behind it, but like you really believe that those families have that much power to reign all of these centuries? That's what I'm trying to figure out. And 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 why? Why why what makes what makes them not good? Like what makes a motherfucker who grow up as a Rockefeller say, yo, I'm definitely gonna keep my foot on these niggas' necks. <laughs> You feel what I'm saying? Why not because, just be like, yo, I'm tired of this shit. Right. Because he could. you probably, yo, because <laughs> it's probably like, yo, if you once I give, once I show you the secrets, the funny, once I show you the secrets, you can't rebel against this or you're or you're dead. I was just what video I was just watching. I was watching the maybe the video of of Bill. Uh, was it was it Bill Bill Burr? Not Bill Burr. Um, oh, she disappeared. The the comedian that was in, in a oh, half. Somebody day. probably called her. Yeah, the comedian half baked. The comedian half baked. Yeah, it's definitely about. not Bill Burr. I know you're talking about that. Uh, what's his name? But whatever. He was talking to. Uh, there we go. He was talking to Roseanne, and he was talking about how Dave Chappelle was ascending, and he was coming up the ranks, and he was coming up the ranks. And at that time, remember, everybody was com- uh, fucking mimicking Dave Chappelle's, quoting his lines. He was the guy. Everybody had to see something. And he said, Dave said he was visited by those people. Roseanne knew who he was talking about. Mm-hmm. The other comedian knew who he was talking about. The only person that didn't know was the fourth was guy me. in the room. Who, 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 who <laughs> the, the other was the other guy in that room that wasn't as famous as these other two people were. Right, right. And he said they didn't even want to mention the name. And he said he was visiting, and Dave had to do something. He said when Dave was visiting, you remember the guy in the video in the clips tried to say, "Hey, did he threaten Dave?" And Roseanne was like, "Oh, oh hey, we can't talk about that." He shut that shit down immediate. Like, yo, Dave disappeared, went to Africa, and then came back. And he said he don't. And the guy, the comedian said, I don't know if Dave was a clone or whatever, but he seemed off after he was visited by these people in these suits. Like, so there are some people in charge that come see these fucking famous people. people that come see these famous people that have influence over us. Because believe it, when you want to believe it one way or not. If one of your famous person, if somebody who you idolize say, hey, man, this group is bad, motherfuckers get on the internet and say, hey, don't fuck with these individuals. Say Dr. Umar. Maybe he got visited by the fucking black suits. Hey, listen, Dr. Umar, I need you to push this message, but you can keep talking about what you're talking about, but don't let them get too close to the truth. Because we, we don't want to have to come sit in your living room and have this conversation with you again. Okay? Of course. That sounds like Al Sharpton. Yeah, you think say people. what you. I don't think they're people. You think they're computers, yeah. but they whoever they are, no, they no, no. say I don't think they're. No, no. I, don't, no. I don't think they're computers. They're, they're different. They could be reptilians. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know Thank it's, you, because I've been th- Beyonce. The girl has no emotion. Like I was watching a punk episode from when mm-hmm. she was just Beyonce before she was Beyonce. She was mm-hmm. just Beyonce. Even then. The girl knocked over it would look like a three ton tree onto some children and some people, some innocent bystanders. You know, she was just putting a star on the tree for children and she knocked over the entire tree. Killed Christmas. A normal woman. (laughs) We're women. A normal woman would a little tear would fester in the eye. Something, you know, the girl didn't say, I'm sorry, nothing. You know what she did? And looked at her nails. Mm-hmm. When Solange was beating the crap out of Jay-Z in that elevator, she had no emotion, no response, no nothing. She was just standing there like a simulator that didn't get the, the on button turned on quick enough. She was to be just fair, in the I would corner the like... To be fair, I would have did the same thing. You would have just... And ate popcorn like... I ate popcorn didn't like... Anything. Oh, she didn't... Shit. She didn't move. She didn't turn her head. She literally just stood like. Yeah, I, but I'm saying these people. When these people 
these people that are hot, the, the Taylor Swifts and all of them in the world, they all have Let's talk about Taylor. I'm just saying, they all, all <laughs> these people, <laughs> all these people with fucking high standards, <laughs> all these people are hot with like fucking like got like got millions of followers. They all they all say this. Somebody else said they said they all say the same cookie cutter thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, Uncle Uncle Mike sent me another video. It's like, look, man, they come to you. These they say the same. The guys say the same thing that the other person. They come to you in this black suit. They come Dang. to you with this money, and they say these are the topics you're allowed to speak on. These are the ones you stay away from. When I want this idea push, please push it. When I want you to leave it alone, please leave it alone. But if that's the case, if it's only a few people coming in black suits, coming to millions and millions of people and oppressing them and forcing them to act in such a way, why don't those people melt together and go kick the guy's butt in the in the black suit? Because the black suit got the black suit got power, power. Black suit got power, but there's they got enough power to make you disappear in a natural, yeah. in a natural way that doesn't look suspicious, and they also got enough power to make you disappear that you don't challenge them, that you get scared that, to challenge. But... So they you can't you can't beat something that has that much control of power. You can. You can mount up a nation all you want, and they can fucking make a war, start a war, and say, make a nuclear war happen, and say, all right, cool. This don't True, exist but no listen to what you said. That's why we're an oppressed people now, because we believe what they tell us. They're so powerful. They're so powerful. Have you ever watched the movie Ants? The, the yes. part where he tells them um, uh, the, the little grasshoppers came back to the to the head grasshopper, and the, gra- gra- the head grasshopper asked them, why didn't you smush that in? And the little grass, the the, right. the obeying grasshopper said, "Oh, we didn't smush them because they're just little puny ants." And he looked at them, and he he said, "Walk with me over here." So he touched the nozzle of the food. This food nozzle had tons and tons and tons of food, of uh, seeds. Seeds are small. Tons and tons of seeds inside of this nozzle. Mm. Now he asked them, he said, he threw one seed at him. He said, does that hurt? He said, no. He threw two seeds at him. He said, does that hurt? He said, no. He popped the nozzle on that BI and all them seeds tumbled on top of them grasshoppers. As big as they were, they got covered by all them itty bitty seeds. Then he asked him, he said, now does that hurt? They said, yes. He said, that's my point. He said one or two puny little ants can't do nothing, but a ton of them can take us down. That's our problem as a people. We think that they have the power, but we actually have the power, but we're so scared of what we don't know. We're so Mm -hmm. scared of the stories that they tell us. It's like death. Death could probably be the most peaceful part of life, Mm -hmm. but we fear it because the stories that they tell us, we don't know what the fuck we're scared of. It's Mm -hmm. like the slaves. If all of them slaves would have mounted together, I guarantee you they could have turned over that shit. But yes. the few that did didn't have enough. It was only a couple seeds. So they got thrown overboard. But if all them seeds would have popped that lid, but hello? The same, yeah. the same thing, but that same thing I'm saying that the reason we can't do that is because slaves wasn't around, allowed to read or whatever. So they wasn't allowed to have knowledge of what, what happened if they became free. You can't, you think that in this gate is the safest place for you to be. Everything out there is as dangerous as it kill you. That's but what that's they tell you. If you not, but listen, if you knock off the government, who will feed you? Who will provide you the energy you need? Which one of y'all will be able to run this country? That's what people are scared of. People don't, don't want to. need a country. That's what I'm saying. People, people feel comfort in having yeah. such a and thing as a ruled. president. Think about that. One a president mm-hmm. of the United States, one person. Tells a whole fucking nation what to do. Bro, people shit, are com- but I'm saying people but are, but a lot of people are comfortable with that ideal. Niggas ain't listening no more. One to one dude told me that. Is, and the thing about it is, it's not even that one person. It's a panel who says mm-hmm. it's okay for him to be. That's why I said he's the just the puppet. president. Is we don't live under a dictatorship. Oh, I kind remember of that. I remember you know that. I mean? that f- yeah. The five monkeys and the banana. How did they do? They gave all the monkeys bananas that, and they all was happy eating the banana. 
and they wouldn't fight each other. They was fucking yeah. they, co- they cohabited. Then they then after that they kept giving all the monkeys a banana. Then they gave then they put one banana in there for all five monkeys, and all five monkeys turned on each other to get that fucking one banana. Yeah. Divide that, and conquer. Yeah. yeah. So listen, it's always it's been two like hours. That, Dre's got to eat. We appreciate you for jumping on and having this conversation yes. with this niggas eating on camera. <laughs> All right. <Thank> you. <laughs> you ain't had to tell his business because nobody yeah, has I to know tell his that business. That's, <laughs> that's what this podcast do. Listen, 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 man. This was a great, great episode because we went down a lot of fucking rabbit holes. And hopefully I'm not everybody done, that li- I know. Uh, hopefully every maybe we can do this one more time. We do because we've mm-hmm. done conspiracy theories, but this was a fucking awesome episode. Thank you for joining yeah, us. I appreciate I you for joining in and sharing your podcast. Was this considered a podcast? Yes, it's considered yeah. a podcast. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. We on, yeah, we can, you can find us on Spotify on and everything. iTunes, YouTube, please share us. Yeah. Yeah, you know I'm saying. I will. And I know listen, people that watch. love these topics of discussions. This all we do is talk about. I mean, this right. is all we talk about. Yeah. I could talk we're about gonna, this for hours. Gonna have a, yeah, we're going to have a deeper. <laughs> Deeper yeah, conspiracy gonna, theory conversation. Yeah, I'm gonna we look for talking that about horse, having bro. it, but we need to we need to actually we need to actually sit down, have a meeting, and focus on the topics we actually want to get into. Oh, it's gonna get it's yeah. gonna get deep. So again, maybe I'll we'll do that this Sunday coming up. Maybe this Sunday. I can't wait to hit the child trafficking in America topic because I know y'all don't think it ain't just no regular civilians riding around here in a white van still in order. Hell stuff. no. Hell no. I know y'all don't think Uh-oh. that. And I know y'all don't think Epstein killed himself. Oh no, we no. never said we always we always make fun of that. Yeah, all the business on them government people. Wait till we they put Diddy away. Wait for y'all to touch that topic, yeah. but I'm gonna wait. Yeah. <laughs> wait till they put Diddy away. It's a wrap. <laughs> but yo, man. The internet gonna but, stop yeah. y'all at that topic. Oh no. Yeah, then we're gonna get visited. Be- we always they always do That's that okay. we we get we get on certain topics we get fucking muted. I'll give y'all the code if they come visit me. <laughs> but all right, yo man, thank y'all for everybody tuning in. That's the end of this podcast. Enjoy y'all Sunday, man. Y'all know where to find us: iTunes, Spotify, the Opinionated Podcast with a K, YouTube, hey, YouTube, all that. Peace. We enjoy y'all. Peace. Bye, y'all. Be blessed. All right. Bang.